Hi everybody, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm here in a 1940s renovation my, pro my company is doing. This project uh, is a 1940s house that we've really taken down to the studs, as they say, and we're really redoing all the major systems in the house. Um, and I wanted to talk to you today about the differences in HVAC installations. Uh, in America, in the, in the kind of 40s and 50s, when uh, ductwork was really starting to come into uh, internal houses, we did a lot of rigid metal ductwork, and that fell away in the decades after that. And we've gone to almost all our installs in America now, our product right here called Flex Duct. And so this product is moving the air in the systems. This is basically a flexible duct. You can see it's got a plastic liner um, that has a metal uh, rib in there. And if you can shoot down there in the video, you can see it. It's got it's got kind of a uh, uh, a rugged interior that's not all that smooth. The nice thing about these is that they are insulated on the outside, so there's not fiber on the um, uh, in the airstream. But what I don't like about these ducts is they can easily compress. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's real easy to shrink these down and really restrict the airflow and not get the proper CFMs out of a system like this. It costs more money to go um, from this to a rigid duct. In our estimation, this rigid duct, here's a piece right here that hasn't been installed yet. You can see it seams together, and then they can mastic the seams. Now look at the difference on the inside of that duct. Super smooth, great airflow, and you're going to have a hard time constricting the flow of air on this. So in our houses, when we build, we really want to do all of our trunk lines, and all of our plenums in rigid metal duct. And then we use a little bit of flex in our houses, but we try and maintain less than 10 feet of flex at the very end of the run. So here's a, here's a typical install right here. We're looking up at the, uh, uh, the two by four trusses right here that are, that are holding up the second floor. We love trusses because if you look, there's a square cutout right here in this truss run. And that square cutout houses our rigid metal uh, trunk line right there. So that's rigid metal that's been insulated on the outside. And then you can see for the vents in this house, we've dropped from that rigid duct right here into flex duct. So this is flexible duct right here. And then here is the register that's going to be in the uh, in the ceiling. And so this this run of flex is probably, I don't know, seven, eight feet, something like that. We try to limit all our flex drops to 10 foot or less but we really like doing all the trunk lines and all the plenums in metal. It costs a little bit more, but it's a much, much better installation, much more long lasting, no fiber in the airstream. You get really good airflow out of these. If you ever did need to clean your ducts, although you shouldn't have to do that very often, it's really easy to clean these in the future. They're not affected by UV rays. They're just, it's a much better install. It is a little more expensive. You need to specify it. Not every HVAC company can even do it. A lot of companies can only do it in flex but it makes for a much, much better install. So let's follow this, this trunk line here and I'll show you how it works in this house. So this trunk line is running all the way across the ceiling here. You can see we're making a bend so we can do some uh, outlets in the kitchen here. And as we turn the corner, uh, we also have a, uh, a rigid duct right here. And that rigid duct, I had my duct guy expose this, this corner for me so we could see what we're looking at. Here's where we're making that connection between the rigid metal and the flexible duct right there. That last, I don't know, seven, eight feet, something like that, is in flexible duct. But up until that point, we're all rigid. We've been uh, mastic sealed on all those joints so that there's no uh, air leakage through there. That's a really top quality install. We pay a little more for this, but our clients get a much, much better install. Um, you can see a little bit of what that looks like here. This is actually a, a hood fan. Same process, that's a 10 inch uh, duct, and that one's not being insulated because we're blowing uh, from the out. But that's basically what a really good uh, rigid duct install should look like. So if you're building a new house or remodeling and you're putting new ductwork in, I highly recommend you find an HVAC company that's capable of giving you rigid metal trunk lines and rigid metal plenums. You're gonna get a much better install and specify that you wanna see 10 feet or less of flex ducts at the very end of the run. You're gonna get a great install. Uh, really all those benefits like I talked about with indoor air quality and longevity and durability and of course airflow. Thanks for joining me everybody. We'll see you next time.